What's up everyone, Magus Luke back here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, I'm in a different environment today. As a matter of fact, I am back in Sweden, in my old hometown. And today I've been given the opportunity to train with one of the best hockey teams in Sweden, Vekra Lakers. I want to find out what it takes to be a professional hockey player. But I am really excited to meet up with my little brother today, who's the strength and conditioning coach for this team. Not only talk about how a professional hockey player trains, but I'm actually going to train with them. Not one session, but two sessions, so uh, it might get brutal. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of nervous, but pretty excited at the same time. Let's go. So here he is, my little brother. But today, he's not my little brother. Today, he's actually my coach. So you're the strength and conditioning coach for Vekra Lakers yep. uh, in the Swedish Hockey League. You see, you know, I'm eight years older and uh, something tells me that I'm gonna have to pay, it's, it's payback time today uh, for all the things I put you through when we were younger. Could be a little bit payback here, but uh, I'll make, I'll, I'll make uh, sure you survive. Okay, I appreciate that. Let me also say that you are one of the most successful strength and conditioning coaches in the Swedish league because you have actually won the league and the cup several times. How, how many times is it now? I've been fortunate enough to be, be around here for seven seasons and it's been two SHL championships, uh, three uh, winning the league three times and also a CHL silver. That's the, the European league, the, the last one you mentioned. But yeah. So you won the league three times and you won the cup, the playoffs twice yeah, in seven years. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That, that's, that's extremely, extremely good. What will you say a hockey player needs? In my opinion, a hockey player needs to be as bulletproof as possible without taking anything away from the performance part. So. Uh, longevity is a big word I use. So longevity is extremely important for um, having a player not only play all the games through a season, but also to have a long career, right? Exactly. What about what do they need when they're on their ice? Quite complex. It's it's been a change last 10, 15, five years. You can say it's always developing. It's getting better and better. Every coach getting better and better. They need everything from aerobic stamina to anaerobic, lactic to. Uh, Power, power max, change of direction, maximum strength. What are we doing today? Because we're doing two sessions. We're doing one now in the morning and one in the afternoon. You're gonna go through our typical, uh, a typical day in a little bit more high load uh, phase. Uh, it's gonna be weighted more to the maximum phase, maximum strength phase. So it's gonna be upper body core this morning and then the afternoon you, I'm gonna put you through a, a power endurance slash anaerobic effect uh, workout. A lot of fancy words. <laughs> I don't even know what it means, but you know, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. That's what he's saying. Well, uh, go easy on me, brother. Remember that I, I've been kind of, I've been kind many times to you. You know, nice birthday presents when you were five, six, and go easy on me, okay? I promise. All right. It's all so explosive, which uh, I'm not used to anymore. Obviously, my brother paired me up with some beasts. Oh man, it's fun. So my, my exercises where I'm at my strongest, these guys, well, these guys' weakest exercises and sets are my strongest, so it's humbling, but a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Two sessions a day, so this is session number one and I'm smoked. So we're halfway in and then in the afternoon we got another one which is more cardio based. Uh, 
everything that we're doing today is all about being explosive. Very few reps, heavy, explosive. I can see why these guys are at the top of the league year in and year out. They're working really hard and they're doing the right things, obviously. Wow, that was an intense session, and uh, I think I know why they paired me up with you, Glenn. Uh, Glenn Gustafson, mm. juggernaut, super explosive, a beast. You were a beast in there. Uh, thank you. I think you did a great job, too. So I did all right, you think? Yeah, I think you did a good job. So what was my weakest skill in there? Maybe when we worked with the consistent stand. Yep, with, with the rubber bands, yeah. that, was, that was tough. I'm used to working rubber bands, but not with, with heavy, strong ones like that and that explosive with few reps. So yeah. thank you so much for uh, you know, being nice enough to let me tag along. Yeah, but thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. So uh, we just started our second session for the day. I am really tired after the first one, but we're gonna do some balance training and then we're gonna go straight into salt. Different sprints. This is gonna be a brutal one, uh, but hey, what I signed up for, let's do it. So it begins. Brutal. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you have it. Uh, what a day. It's safe to say that hockey players are one of the most well-trained athletes in the world. It's been, it's been brutal. It's been super fun, but oh man, do they work out. Hope you guys like this video. I think it's important to show you guys that, you know, depending on the sport you're doing, and we're not all the same, we don't train the same, whether you're a football player, hockey player, or you just want to look good with your shirt off, you, you do very different things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me get my butt kicked. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to press that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next week.